What's up guys? Today's video is actually something crazy that I've been wanting to do for a while. As you guys can see here I got a nice lake. Doesn't look familiar because we've actually never filmed a video here. I've been wanting to come here forever. You too, huh? I've been ready for this one. Now there is a fish in here that I've been wanting to target for a very, very long time that the, the state of Nevada actually wants out of here. They don't want them in here, not at all. It's called the pike, northern pike. I guess this lake's absolutely loaded with them. It was like a trophy trout fishery at one point, and they keep somehow, either somebody's releasing pike in here, or they're feeding in from a river or something. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a shot today. I'm actually extremely excited about this one. Everything I've heard about pike is that they're super fun to catch, very, very aggressive fish. So I guess we're gonna test our luck today. Today we're going to start with a variety of baits. Um, we're going to be throwing some big swim baits, top water, um, little swim baits, jigs, just a little bit of everything, seeing if we can't figure out how to catch these fish. And then after, you know, we get maybe a bite or two, we'll be able to dial down our bite. But Senior, what are you starting out with? Trout. That, that's a good swim bait. There's a lot of trout in here, so we think that's their main forage is the, the trout. So he's going to be tossing that around, seeing if you can't get on the big ones, because there's some big pike in here. I'm going to be starting out with something a little bit different. I've got Guggen Squad Frog tied on right here. And uh, this is a Biospawn Exo Swim. If that don't work, I'm gonna switch it up. Maybe try like a Whopper Plopper or something, but we're gonna go ahead and get to fishing now. There's a whole lot of weeds, so it's good to have weedless baits. <laughs> oh, I got a hit, I got a hit. There's a lot of little bass, little, little bass in here. But that's not what we're after. Oh, oh, I saw him come and grab it. All right. Oh, come. got him, got him. It's a largey. Get in the boat. Got him, first fish of the trip right here. This fish has got me stoked. Not quite what we're after, but it took about 10 bites to get him. Nice chunky little guys. We're going after the nice pike though, so here we go. That was awesome right there. You guys didn't fist bump. Frogfish, can't beat it. Got one? Pike. Senior got one. Finally. Man, we're getting hits like crazy in this stuff. Little babies, they're cool. Mm -hmm. they're, tiny ones. They're, they're kind of like, accidental catches trying to catch these pike they're impossible to avoid though okay so the bass fishing there's a bug on the screen see get him off there get out there the bass fishing has been pretty good today so far we haven't been out here long but man the bass are hitting like crazy the problem is that they're not big and um we're targeting a little bit bigger fish and we keep running into these little bass about 10 or so inches and they keep hitting the frog literally getting hits on the frog like crazy but they're not hooking up because they're just hitting the back end of it. They're not very big bass, and I think they're having a hard time getting their whole mouth around it, to be honest. But should be only a matter of time before we run into a pike or something. Wind and these umbrellas don't go well, huh? We're going to change up our, our strategy, our plan a little bit. We were fishing back in these weeds, hoping we could pick them up, you know, with top waters, you know, weedless stuff. But now we're switching it up a little bit. The wind's picked up a little bit. And we got really good cloud coverage. We're gonna go fish some more of this main water stuff where like deep water meets shallow water where these reeds are you know touching a little bit deeper water and on main water points and stuff where these where these pike might be staged up trying to trying to get on a trout or so because that's probably what they're out here trying to eat so that's what we're gonna do right now making a little bit of move and uh changing up our strategy just a little bit i was fishing this spinnerbait all gosh dang day senior picks it up first throw catches a pike we're supposed to release the tag on? I'm not sure. I think I haven't are. heard anything about it, but the, oh, he's tagged twice. Yeah. He's been tagged twice. He choked that spinnerbait? Yep. 
It's down far. So this is what we came out after. Senior finally caught one. Literally, I was throwing that spinner bait all day long. Senior picks it up first throw. Smacks a pike. Nice work. I was throwing the whopper plopper. I did like three casts right there. He must not like the whopper. Look at that. There's a tag there and a tag right there. Hmm. Cool fish on the teeth. Pretty crazy teeth. Well, this one's tagged for a reason, so. I think they asked to release the tagged ones. We're gonna release it because they, Cause they probably... want to study where they're hanging out at and stuff, huh? Yeah, so here it goes. Our first one ever happens to be tagged. There he goes. Well, wow, that's cool. normally we won't let them go, but in this rare occasion it was tagged. Nice work though. That was our target that? fish. First cast with the spinner bait. Sweet. That was with that Guggen Squad spinner bait, and he was trailing a biospawn. Biospawn exo swim. That's crazy. The only one we catch and it's tagged. Yeah, that was crazy. That's nuts. It's about time we finally got a pike. It took forever. We've been out here a while just targeting them, targeting them, targeting them. And, bass. and uh, the bass, it's hard to even get away from the dang bass. There's so many here that it's just, it's crazy. There's less bass right here though. I haven't caught a bass in a little while. So maybe that's why we caught a pike. Maybe. The bass aren't hanging out where the pike are, so if we're catching so many bass, maybe there, there's no pike. <laughs> this is fighting good. Oh, big pike, big pike, big pike. Pike, baby. Yep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's go. what's up right there. Finally. This is what I this is what we came here for. Literally four and a half hour drive. We're gonna do a little bit of coyote hunting and uh we came up for these right here. There's nowhere that I know of, at least in Nevada, that we can catch these. Except here. Like... Well, folks, this is what we came out for right here. That's a good pike. So I'm gonna show you why I'm, I'm using these fish grippers really quick. Look at, show them their, those teeth. Those teeth right there why you don't want to grab these with your hand so they don't want you to let these go unless they're tagged so that they know kind of what the fish are doing in the in the lake and stuff and they can help get rid of these but this guy we're gonna do a little catch and cook on him right here all right so we were out here probably about five hours or so so we're about to get off the water now fishing was good um at first we thought, you know, we were gonna catch some pike out uh, while we were catching all those little bass. Like, absolutely, those bass were everywhere. That was crazy. But um, no pike down there. Surprisingly, no pike. There was a dead pike, but we couldn't get in them down there. So we moved back to actually like the main water where it's a lot deeper out here. And instantly we started getting on pike. Senior caught one right away. And then the wind picked up like crazy. I caught a nice one right away. And then a couple minutes after that, I actually lost one even bigger. I would guess probably like 12, 13 pounder. A nice one, I lost a real nice one. And then I had another chaser. I had another chaser, probably about the size of the one I caught. He followed it all the way to the boat. And it, it was just action for the pike. They just weren't hooking up. I had another one bite at the boat, didn't hook up, but that's how it goes sometimes. A lot of bass. Yeah, a whole, whole lot of bass. It was insane how many, whoop, how many bass there were today just absolutely insane throw me the keys i'll back up the boat but absolutely insane how many bass it was actually surprising no big bass though so that's kind of a bummer look at that sunset wow looks crazy on the camera looks good up here but cummins lake once again here in nevada the only reason i'm telling you where this is at is because endow actually wants these pike out of here because this is a trophy trout fishing lake right here where they catch a lot of big trout and stuff and uh, the pike kill them. So if you guys end up coming out here, let me know. Let me know how, how many you catch or anything, how you do. You guys saw exactly how we were catching them today. The little uh, trout swim bait, I don't think I ended up showing you guys that. I got some footage of me using it though. Little trout swim bait ended up coming in clutch, working great. I got like four bites off that for the as far as the pike go. Landed one. They just weren't fully committing. This is gonna be a catch and cook on that that nice pike I caught. I went ahead, I, I bled them, threw them straight on ice, and then when we get home, which is gonna be in a couple days, I'm gonna cook them up for you guys. But that's it for fishing right now. So 
I'm sure when you guys see this, I'm gonna be at my house. All right, guys, we're back home now. Uh, awesome trip up there at North. Great fishing. We ended up catching so many bass. It was like weird. Every time we cast that frog, it was like fish after fish after fish, and uh, a lot of small bass. But we ended up getting a nice pike. Now, when it comes to cleaning these pike, they're a lot different than any fish I've ever cleaned before. They have a weird set of Y bones that goes through them. So what I did. I mean, just if I've never played a fish, I'll do the same thing everybody else will. I'll go online and look it up, you know, YouTube and stuff. So what I saw was pretty cool. You cut off the back, you go down the back and cut along the top of that spine because the Y bones lay backwards, so your knife will follow them. And that'll actually, the whole top of that fish is a completely boneless little piece of that fish right there. And straight on the sides of those Y bones, you can cut straight down, and the sides there are another completely, there are two completely boneless strips also, and along the tail there's two of them. Showed you guys a little bit of that right now. But we're gonna go ahead and get to cooking it. I heard that pike's amazing eating. I'm gonna use the same recipe that I used in our last tilapia catch and cook, just cause it's a nice, easy recipe to cook. You know, obviously fried fish always turns out pretty good. And I wanna do that because I eat fish like that a lot, and I actually wanna taste the pike. I've never had pike before, so I wanna taste it. I wanna see what the fish tastes like for what it is and kind of, you know, base my judgment off of that. So that's what we're going to do today. Super simple, super easy recipe as always. We're going to go ahead and see how it turns out. So we're going to get flour, poil powder, granulated garlic, some breadcrumbs, lemon pepper, and this time instead of just that random chili pepper I'm using, I'm using cayenne pepper. So it should turn out good. We're going to fry it on some oil. Super simple, super easy. Let's get right into it. All right, so we finished up with that pike. Super simple recipe. All I did is I threw some flour. Of course, make too much noise over there. Okay, so now be quiet. But it's super simple recipe. Super simple recipe. All I did is I threw some flour in a bowl. Make sure I got all my ingredients on. Threw some lemon on top of it and a little sprinkle of lemon pepper again, just because I like that taste. You throw it on while it's still hot, so that the fish kind of grabs it a little bit more. We're gonna go ahead and do a good old taste test right now, see how it turns out. Like, like I mentioned before, the reason why I cooked it so simple, seriously can't talk. It's because I just want to taste the pike. Um, I've eaten fish like this many times, so I kind of know what it tastes like. And um, I've never eaten pike before, and a lot of people tell me it's super good, so I wanted to give it a good old taste test like that and uh, see how it turns out. Right here's the pike all done. You guys can see, nice golden brown. I'm actually super excited for this one because I've been wanting to catch pike for a long time and eat them. Scooby, calm down real quick. I mean, dogs always make a noise. I know you're hungry, but come on, Scooby. Mm. All right, so here we go. Got a nice golden brown piece of pike right here. Go ahead and taste it. Nice white meat. That's actually really good right there. I say that all the time. That's super good. Um, that's actually one of the better fish I've eaten, to be honest. In a weird way, a lot of people, when I caught these and I posted on my Instagram, ooh, flying piece of fish. Mm. So a lot of people wrote me when I posted this on my Instagram that we caught these. They actually said that this is a, their favorite fish now to eat. And I can see where they're coming from. It's actually a really good fish in the future. Mm. I, calm down real quick, Scooby. I'm trying to film something here. Scooby's done eating finally, but I'm, I'm actually enjoying this a whole lot. This pike's really good. A lot of people write, uh, wrote me on Instagram saying that this is some of their favorite fish to eat now. And to be honest, I really enjoy it. It's, it's a good tasting fish. I'll even say that between this and those little tilapia we caught, I'll have to say this is a little bit better right here. And it's, it's up there with striper too. Striper's a good eating fish. This is a good eating fish. Can't go wrong with pike. From now on, pike's going to honestly be some of my favorite fish, to be honest, because I they are fun to target, fun to go try to catch them. Um, I'm sure if I had a couple more days there, I could pattern them a little bit better and catch a lot more of the pike. But as of right now, we had one to eat, and it's I'm really enjoying this fish right here. 
really really good eating fish like I said super fun to catch they get really big and um, can't go wrong with them our state wants them gone that lake right there is supposed to be managed as a trophy trout fishery and when the pike are introduced in there it just ruins the trout fishing so they want them gone they recommend everybody goes up there and catch as many as they can and keep them all so if you guys want to go ahead and try that out if you guys go up there end up catching some let me know maybe tag me on Instagram or Facebook or something I'd love to see it and um yeah great great eating fish alright so if you guys enjoyed this video please drop a thumbs up maybe I'll go back up there and try to catch some more I lost a pike that had to have been 12 13 pounds quite a bit bigger than this one I had them on the hook all the way to the boat my GoPro wasn't on though so I didn't get to really film it but I might end up going back up there if you want to see that Go ahead and drop a comment down below. If you guys haven't already, check out my last video. That was from the coyote hunt I filmed up there also. And um, just let me know what you guys think. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.